It's flu season again, and public health officials say it's not too late to get a flu shot, as most cases don't happen until after January. But if you get the vaccine, how do you know if it will work, or if you'll have a bad reaction to it, or if you even need it in the first place? Doctors at Mayo Clinic are developing a new field of research called vaccinomics. Their hope is to be able to use gene testing to find out exactly who's at risk of getting the flu, who will benefit from the vaccine, and who won't. Dr. Gregory Poland and his colleagues want to bring the concept of individualized medicine, where researchers look at your genes to determine what diseases you're at risk of getting and how you respond to treatments, to flu vaccine delivery. It's called vaccinomics. We would take a genetic screening and from that be able to predict things like, is this person at risk of this disease? Do we even need to give them a vaccine? If we gave them a vaccine, how likely are they to respond to it? Do they need one dose, two doses, three doses? Or if we give them the vaccine, are they likely to have a harmful reaction to it? What if we could predict that? And the promise of genetics and of individualized medicine is that it's pretty clear we will probably be able to, to predict some, if not all of those. Here's how our genes affect how we respond to vaccines. Your body's cells have receptors on the surface. These receptors act like hands that reach out and bond with particles of the vaccine, creating antibodies. Your genes determine how well your receptors bond to the vaccine. And this determines how effective your body will be at fighting the disease. Are you going to respond? Are you going to hyper respond or just have sort of a middling response? Dr. Poland says vaccinomics research is still in its earliest stages. His hopes are that it will eventually allow people to know how they'll respond to a vaccine before they take it. And perhaps this sort of knowledge will help researchers tailor there. vaccines so more people would benefit from them. Again, vaccinomics is still in the early stages of development, so for now, Dr. Poland recommends that everyone over six months get the flu vaccine to avoid getting the illness. Every year, one in 8,000 people in America die of influenza. Dr. Poland says you can dramatically reduce your chances of getting the flu by getting a flu vaccine. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.